I'm Rahib Zara here today to show you how to set up a Freeboard dashboard for OctaBlue. Um, Freeboard.io is a really cool site. Um, it's an open source project for quickly creating dashboards. Um, so we have a version out on GitHub at github.com slash OctaBlue slash Freeboard uh, which you can download and use to set up your own OctaBlue uh, dashboard that you can host on your own site or on um, on your computer. So we're going to download that uh, zip file there, the whole repo. Uh, unzip it and go here. We're going to open up that folder. You see a couple files in here. We're going to open up index dev and we're going to add a data source. So data source for Octablue is actually just a device UUID and token. Um, we're going to create that in Octoblue as a generic device node. So we're going to go to our app.octoblue, go to connect, add node, we're going to add a generic device. Add new, give it a name. Let's create a new flow. And uh, before we do anything, we're going to go here, we're going to grab the UUID from the connect page. And we're going to go to Freeboard. And we're going to enter in our UUID. We're going to go back. And we're going to hit reset token. And we're going to grab a token. Now this changes every time you look at it. So if you reset it, you're going to have to go back into Freeboard and change it. So we're going to add in token. Set our server in case you're using a private server. Um, so we see that it's activated, it's online. And now we're going to go to design. And uh, let's go to our configured nodes bin. Drop in the freeboard. Uh, we're going to select forward message. And let's just send it some uh, raw messages. So let's attach a trigger. and we're going to give it a payload of 100 and now we deployed the flow we're going to send it one message so we we go into freeboard you can all see that it was recently updated we're going to hit add pane and we're going to select uh, let's go with the gauge and you can give it a title total units we're going to hit data source and we see our generic device show up here and the message that just came in uh, it's immediately broken up for us so we just select payload right there and string payload um, so I'm going to add a debug node here and show you what I mean We hit play and we see that it comes out as message dot payload um, and that same structure is right here um, and that's just breaking up that JSON object for us and when we hit save it shows up so now if we were to send it different values it'll also show that change in real time to be clear though freeboard only show, uh, shows data over the time with which it's been on. So it's not going to store your data after you restart it. So um, doing things like graphs or spark lines, uh, it'll show you an analysis of that over real time, but not later on. So this is more for viewing your data. So see, we can see that in real time. So let's add another pane. This time we'll select uh, Let's go with um, a spark line. With the spark line, you can even add multiple data sources, so you can do multiple lines of data. And you can see that difference. You can set colors and legends. So I'll hit save. And, uh, it hasn't gotten any new messages yet, so as soon as we hit this, we'll see that we see the data over time.
We can move these around to create a proper layout. Let's add a uh, text object. In this case, we'll pull the UUID from which this payload came. When we hit save, it shows us that. You can add pointers as well. So pretty easy to create really cool layouts really easily. You can even add a uh, Google Maps. So say you have an Arduino with Wi-Fi or GSM that's shooting up REST calls to OctaBlue. Um, that you can send um, an X and Y coordinate or latitude and longitude, and then plot that out on Google Maps. In this case, we're just going to be in the middle ocean because we're just sending the one value to, which isn't really real uh, coordinates but that could be and it would show you in real time where that uh, device's location is uh, so that's that it's 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 a pretty powerful platform you can save your freeboard um, easily um, we can add different plugins you can do HTML picture um, and uh, you can put that up there and uh, you can just keep that for views very useful tool. Hitting save will download a JSON file which you can use on the load freeboard uh, link and select that JSON file and load your freeboard. Uh, if you have a JSON file in the folder with the freeboard page, um, if you run just purely index.html it should show up immediately and load that 